Thousands flee Sevier County overnight as massive wildfires tear through parts of Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. And these images coming out of there, incredible, as more than 100 homes and businesses are still burning this morning. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres, he's been following the latest all night there in Sevier County. Matthew, what's the latest? Fire still burning right now. It really is. In fact, uh, I think it even picked up because if you can see from the lights uh, from the uh, this area, you see that smoke. It has gone so much thicker just within the past few minutes that we've been here. So you can kind of see it kind of spread and trickle on our way here. And at one point we saw flames up the mountain. We don't see that right now, but we did see crews everywhere uh, just within the past half hour trying to contain at least the small fires that we've seen in this area alone. So I just want to point out this street right here. This is Parkway. As you can see right now, these folks here at police with Pigeon Forge are trying to get people to turn back around. Some of these people I spoke to evacuees think that they are able to come back. That is definitely not the case this morning because this part is obviously on its way to Gatlinburg. They're trying to get people to turn back around. These are where crews are headed to. These are also uh, where people are still trying to evacuate according to uh, the officials and according to Tima. About 14,000 people from Gatlinburg alone evacuated last night. We are here in Pigeon Forge where it also had a mandatory uh, evacuation. We were at the evacuation centers earlier this morning. At one point, there were about 1,400 people there. In one area, it was half of the uh, evacuees were visitors. So obviously at this time of the year, this is definitely a busy, uh, busy part of the year. That is obviously uh, now going through this kind of nightmare situation. You heard from that spokesperson from Tima. He says parts of Gatlinburg are destroyed. It is a devastating morning right now. And so far, even though the sun is coming out, uh, they are at one point will assess uh, the damage out there in Gatlinburg. But uh, from the reports that we are hearing, it is not looking good out there this morning, folks. So a lot of people are asking and questioning whether certain businesses or uh, structures are still up. That has yet to, uh, yet to be determined. So in the meantime, more than 100 homes and businesses have already been either destroyed or damaged here in Sevier County. Reporting live, Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. Matthew, thanks. And of course, as we've said, a state of emergency has been declared in East Tennessee. At last check, TEMA estimates more than 100 structures have been damaged or destroyed, including homes, a 16-story hotel, and a major apartment complex, including Ober Gatlinburg, destroyed, according to TEMA. More than 12,000 people are currently without power. Right now, we have no reports of any deaths or major injuries. An estimated 14,000 people have had to evacuate.